Hey, I just wanted to spend a couple of minutes talking about my new class that begins next uh, week on Monday, the 8th. Um, I just thought it might help a few people if I kind of clarified a few things. That kind of indicates that the description isn't very good, which I think the description's as good as it can be because it's something you've got to immerse yourself in to fully appreciate what's going on and that won't happen obviously till we start the class but basically um, I recently had a, a bit of a catastrophe with the design ledger that I was making this isn't it so I had to completely just rethink and restart uh, and rescue um, the work I'd done so in the rescuing process I tried to stay as true as I could this is the rescue process I tried to stay as true as I could to the original because the inspiration and the source and everything was exactly the same. I wanted to use exactly the same materials and everything. Um, but what I did find was that I got new ideas that didn't happen in the first, the first design ledger. So, and we're talking about maybe seven weeks from the start of the original piece that, got, that had a catastrophe to redoing it. So in seven weeks, everything changed well not everything but new things were learnt uh, and new things were happening so I thought well imagine so uh, this is a sketchbook from my study days at university and this was created in my second year which was 2004 so that's nearly 17 years ago by the time I did this um, 16 years technically but it's nearly 17 by the time I got to this module and I thought Compared to how I work now, which is only because of experience, etc., and the years I've spent working and developing my work, this, it's like flat, uninteresting. It, it ticked all the boxes. It passed. It was fine. It was acceptable. Um, but it's not what I would do now. So I want to take this ledger, which was all concerned with both my grandmothers, I called them Nana, um, which kind of, oof, um, what I associated with them, which was lace and then embroidery, but with iron-on transfer patterns. You know those iron-on transfer patterns? So, and then, so this is the page that represents the iron-on transfer patterns. And then the grandmother's flower garden is just because they're my grandmothers. Neither of them did patchwork, but I'm putting myself in here as well. So, Nana is lace and iron on transfers. Me is grandmother's flower garden, okay? So, it's me involving myself with my Nanas and connecting with them. They're no longer here. Um, I was very close to both of them. So, it's just that. How would this look if I was set this assignment now? When you look at, so here, this is the lace representation. But here, this was concerned with lace, and there's a page of things that represent lace with very little lace on there, using other things, other methods to represent lace. So that's what I thought. So I thought, you've done that with this, Karen. How would one of your uni sketchbooks look if you did it again now, if you were to do that now? Um, and this is my favourite one because it's extremely personal. So that's why I'm using this one. So, and then I thought, I would never have dreamed when this, this is a bought book, okay? When this came about, I would never have dreamed of making my own pages. So I've been stitching pages together like they're going out of fashion. There's another one pinned here. Got that one pinned, ready to be stitched. And there's another one there. And there is another one that isn't here. So that's one, the one that isn't here is one, two, three, four, five. So, I mean, already, already it's so much better than that. So that's what I want to do. That's what I'm looking at. That's what this class is going to be about. How would you fit into this class? You can copy me, do exactly what I do. You might have a favourite <coughs> notebook of your own that you want to work with and something that I do on here for example I've been stitching on net I will be demonstrating stitching on net again to mimic lace you might want to stitch on net you might want to do solid 
fabric embroidery to add to your page but I'll be adding things like this to these pages I'll be embellishing the pages without adding anything to them so working directly into the pages so it'll be the whole process of putting this design book together okay now what's the difference between this and artist books well I guess because it's a very personal project for me because of both my nanas and because it's a reworking, it's a reassessment of what's happened in here and hopefully an improvement on what's happened in here. That is the difference, okay. Um, but other artist book things will still be involved, I'm sure, because I'm going to be putting a book together with the pages I've made. Um, so I just wanted to clarify that, I just wanted to speak a little about that. I'm very excited about this and I've been putting these pages together and it's taken me all my time not to crack on and progress all this and work into this. I've got so many ideas because I don't want to start before class, obviously, because I need to share it with the class. So I'm being very, very restrained and um, chomping at the bit, but not really running loose with it, running wild with it. Okay.